First at 530, a new Bedford City Councilor is pushing back after the city's licensing board voted last night to ban mini alcohol bottles, also known as NIPS. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. This comes after a frustration from many in attendance at the meeting who wanted to speak on the issue but were not able to because the board placed the time limit on public comment. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with the latest. Anita? And Mike, it's because of the lack of public comment at Monday night's meeting that city councilors want to have two more hearings where all affected business owners can speak on the ban on NIPS without time limitations. A packed house for Monday's new Bedford licensing board hearing with many for and against the ban on NIPS wanting to speak. But only a dozen attendees spoke because of a time limit the board placed on public comment. Advocates say the ban will be better for the environment, even collecting empty nips to make their point. And I collected another 48 nips in 35 minutes. But opponents say their businesses are on the line. If you pass this, you are impeding on the right for someone to make a profit. In the end, the licensing board unanimously voted to approve it. The board says the ban won't go into effect until all of the city's liquor stores sell off their current inventory, saying it will likely go into effect sometime in early November. But the city council called their decision troubling and hasteful. They are now looking into whether the licensing board has the authority to enforce the ban. In a joint statement, four councillors said in part, a ban of this magnitude warranted a discussion, not a unanimous decision. Democracy has been trampled and we will not sit idle. New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell, who supports the ban, tells 12 News it's within the licensing board's power to enforce a ban on NIPS. The licensing board's authority is derived directly from, from the state legislature, not from the city council. But in, in any event, look, I think this is going to be okay as time goes on. One counselor I spoke to over the phone said the licensing board could deny their request for a new hearing. I reached out to the licensing board for comment, but have not yet heard back. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.